Susanna here from The Good Property Company. Um, talking windows, we are in a Grade 2 uh, listed house, which means there are certain conservation rules that we need to be very aware of and very compliant. And one of those is around the look and the feel of the windows and how they match in with other windows in the location. So um, I actually bought this house with architectural plans, so I didn't need to go through the whole um, sign off conservation process. I was very fortunate that this house, which was bought almost with no roof, um, came with plans ready made. And I bought it from a really great guy, really nice guy. The day I bought it, he's also a property developer and he'd, he'd taken it on as a project and he just decided, you know what, life is short. Uh, which which is true. Uh, so the day I bought it, I drove down from Glasgow actually, picked the keys up and instead of kind of exploring the property, I sat out in the garden in the sunshine with this guy chatting for two hours about life, love and the meaning of the universe. It was really nice. But so what it means for me is I didn't need to go with the plans already and I was very fortunate they had done the work, they had done the con conversation co um, conversation, conservation conversations and put together all the structural work and um, needed for sign off for final planning. So when I bought it, it was subject to an, a number of um, constraints being satisfied, uh, which the architect did within about two weeks of me uh, buying it, submitted them, they got signed off, great. One of them is windows. Now the downside of grade two is this is this is you know the 21st century and i'm not moaning but you still can't necessarily or certainly i wasn't allowed to put in double glazing so the downside is it's single glazing uh, because it has to match everywhere else so what are we going to do about that well <laughs> at the moment i've still got holes <laughs> so at least we're gonna, at least we're going to actually you know fix the holes but it does mean that what i'll actually do is i'll need to put curtains in with insulation just to make sure that this house which is on a hill and it overlooks the whole of bristol stays really lovely and warm <laughs> my cameraman's looking out the view <laughs> um and the other thing it needs to do is it needs to match perfectly in with all the other houses this house as you can see i mean look i mean you know it was knackered that's the official the official version i mean you know i could there you go <laughs> That brick is literally moving, and, and, and that's not a surprise. We had two options uh, on the whole three-storey front of this house. One option was more or less to take it down brick by brick and rebuild it very much within conservation rules, just for the bay front windows, the, the three storeys, simply because the builders felt there just wasn't the strength. Uh, and it would actually be relatively dangerous to put in windows when <laughs> you've got bricks like that going on. Or the other option was actually to use the window frames themselves, because you see how much of the windows they actually use, and rather than just have them made out of wood, put in steel rods to strengthen the whole of the front of the house. And I'm working with guys who really know their stuff. Um, and what they decided to do was go for the second option, which was use the windows themselves to strengthen the whole of the front of the house. So these windows actually have steel rods right through. So they are not just windows, they are actually strengthening this house. And that meant that we didn't need to take down a very expensive, a very long, and obviously having to work with the conservation team to make sure that the look and feel of the house was exactly right. Because this is a beautiful brick fronted house. Um, we have, and we want to keep it beautiful. So there you go windows uh, i'm here it's the very first time we've been renovating for almost six months and this is the first day i've seen the windows in i am just a little bit excited but it's now time for tea see you later